In this video, we'll be discussing correlation in R. And so, let's make two sets of data. We'll call the first set x, and then let's make this the numbers 1 through 10, and then let's make y equal to x plus some noise, which we'll get from R norm. So we'll get 10 values from a normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. And so I'm going to go ahead and run that and here are what those two look like. And so suppose we wanted to correlate these two sets of values in R. The way in which we'll do that is that we'd use the core function. And so this function takes as the first input the first set of values, and then as the second input the second set of values that you're trying to correlate. And so if we run this, we see that the correlation is 0.95. And so let's make a plot just to confirm that so, in fact, you see that the values are highly correlated. So, let's see if we can make this correlation not so strong. And so, a way in which we can do that is we can go back to uh, line number two in which we added the random noise, and let's set the standard deviation equal to, let's say, three. And so, I'm going to go ahead and run this, and then we can make the plot again to see what that looks like. You see that the values are less correlated. And if we were to run the correlation function, we see that the correlation is now 0.65. So I'm going to now show you how we would change the correlation method from the Pearson correlation, which is the default, to the Spearman correlation. So what's the scenario in which we would actually want to do this? So I'm going to go ahead and create the well-correlated values once more. So x and y, I'm going to make a plot of this and then show you the well-correlated values. Um, so let's go ahead and change the last value of y into something really high, let's say 1,000. And then I'm going to sh show you what this looks like when plotted. OK, you see the, that that outlier that we just created, you can see it on the y-axis. And so if we ran the Pearson correlation now, you see that it's 0.52. When x and y are mostly the same, with the exception of that outlier value, that 1,000 value. So what the Spearman correlation does is that it first converts these values to ranks, and then it performs the test. And so it's only concerned about whether or not uh, the two sets of values are increasing. So when x is increasing, is y increasing? That's sort of the question that you're asking. And so if we were to change the method in the correlation function to Spearman, and run that, you see that the value is 0.92. And so, which means that these two sets of values are actually well correlated in the sense that as one is increasing, the other one is increasing as well. And so this has been a video on how to perform the Pearson correlation and the Spearman correlation in R. Thanks for watching.